Hey guys, my name is Ali and I work as a data analytics manager in Oslo, Norway. A resume is a summary of your skill set, but a data analytics portfolio will demonstrate how you can apply that skill set. In this video, I want to talk about how does a data analytics portfolio give you an advantage in the hiring process? What skills should a data analytics portfolio demonstrate? What a data analytics portfolio can look like with a walkthrough of an example and a friendly reminder to use the data analytics portfolio. Before we go into the details of a data analytics portfolio, let's see where it fits in as an advantage for you guys in a hiring process. Whenever I have to hire someone for a data analytics job, I have to follow the same steps. It doesn't matter if it's a data engineer, a data analyst, or a BI developer, I still have to follow the same process. We put out a job ad and get applications in return, and then we do an initial screening based on listed skills in the resumes and a follow-up interview with relevant candidates. After that, we do interviews with tests to better understand how you can use your skill set, and the last interview to evaluate if we think you will fit into the team and the company culture. A good data analytics portfolio can help you in the later part of the interview process. We usually have different types of tests, such as breaking down a SQL statement, or maybe analyze a data model and then explain how you would write a calculation. If you also have a data analytics portfolio, then that gives us another topic which I can ask about and you can present your favorite projects and skills in a confident manner. This is a win-win for both of us. I want to understand what you can do, and you want to showcase your skill set from your best side. If we think about the skill set you want the data analytics portfolio to demonstrate, I think the following are important. Extract or scrape data from different sources. You know how to get the data out of the data sources a company is using or want to use. And that you can cleanse a data set. These two steps will make up a big portion of your time and are very important to emphasize. If you can refer to a project that had data quality issues, it is always interesting to understand how you solve those challenges because it is such a big part of a data analytics job. Also that you can perform different types of analysis and apply different analysis techniques is also very useful for an employer to see. That you know how to visualize your findings in different ways and you know how to communicate them both to stakeholders and to end users. That you have the ability to work as part of a team. And at last but not least a passion for the work and the ability to take initiative to challenge previous practice. Any project where you started with an initial thought and ended up doing something else is of course interesting and why there was a change in the direction is something that we might want to ask you about. To see how all of this can be structured and what it could look like, I found an example of a data analytics portfolio that I like. So let's jump onto my laptop and take a look at it. By the way, I came across this YouTube channel. You know, it's kind of new, it's getting there, but you should probably subscribe to it. So this is the data analytics portfolio that I found and I like. This is made by someone named Naledi Holbrig, I'm not sure how the name is pronounced, but I really, really like her data analytics portfolio. Right away, you can see that she is an analytics consultant. You can see that she has emphasized that she knows how to collect data, she knows how to process it, she knows how to visualize it. I can see that she has men mentioned Alteryx, she has mentioned Tableau, she has mentioned some different sources, just to give an idea of what it is that she has worked with and what it is that she focuses on. I'd say it's a nice layout, it's easy to navigate, it's not too much, it's not too little, you know, it's easy to get in touch with her. If you want to see her portfolio, you can get there right away. We're going to scroll down and then you can see she has a section about her, which gives us a little bit more of, con of a context about who she is, you know, what is her passions, um, what are different things she has worked on, what are different things that she are offering. Just a nice introduction to her. And then right away it goes into her portfolio. What I think she's done, which is very smart, is that she has taken different types of projects and uploaded it. You can see as I move around, some of them says self, uh, says personal projects. Some of them seems like they were done in context of work. Um, here you can see it has something with Alteryx and workflows. This is a personal project, with kind of, which kind of reflects her actual passion for this. She has different types of um, visualizations you can see that she has been awarded a whiz of the day which is really cool um, another personal project um, some sort of visualization based on some measures <clears throat> and some other ones once again this one provided design and technical guidance to the team visualizing the result of the IT trend survey so here it seems that she has gone in as a guidance and someone who kind of um, instructs other how to do it which is also very nice and you can see, you know, Mapbox, you use Maps. So it's just a nice overview of what she has done previously. And it gives me so much I can ask about. You know, I can ask about the process. Why did she visualize it this way? What was her role in the project? And it just gives me, it shows me that she can actually take some data, work it through the necessary data analytics uh, uh, processes, and make an end result that looks really good. And what she has done is that she has uploaded this to Tableau 
um, public and I know you also have uh, this for Power BI you can upload your visualizations your dashboards and they stay fully interactive as they go online so we can just open one um, let's open this one you can see it takes me to uh, okay so this is actually a, a project she's probably then done this for them and then it's actually on the site so this is actually embedded I didn't know that I thought this was on Tableau public but that's also really cool because then you can see how she has actually managed to take some analytics and put into some other some other site but if we take let's look at this one so you can see this one is on Tableau public so she's created it in Tableau and then she's uploaded it then I can go in here um, I can move around and you can see it has full dynamics um, it, it looks good it works well it just gives me a nice preview of something that she's worked on it has some details there a lot of things I can ask about a lot of things we can discuss and a really good showcase you can also see that she has included a I noticed she had a blog which is nice and a section on services so services are the ones she's, she has here but if we go to the blog that takes us probably somewhere else I haven't looked at this before but you can see here she has different types of posts which once again tells me a little bit about what does she focus on and what are different things that she can you know that I can ask her about and that I know that she could she could bring as value to to the company if we were to hire her so I think it's I think it's a very good structured data analytics portfolio I think it's not too much it's not too little um, based on the type of role you're looking for you might want to include other other things but the, the art is to make sure that it's not too much, not too little, and showcase enough so that we know, so that it becomes an extension of your, of your uh, skill sets on your resume that you, that you uh, send in for the, job, uh, for the job you are applying for. So overall, uh, really, really good. I really like it. The last thing I want to mention is that don't forget to use the data analytics portfolio to your advantage. Refer to it in your resume and mention it in your cover letter. If you follow up on your application with a phone call, then mention it in your phone call. If you get a second interview, then ask if there will be any tests and if you can present some of your data analytics portfolio projects. A data analytics portfolio can be very useful if you shape it right and select the right projects. You have spent the time creating it, now you gotta make sure you make the most out of it. So that is what I have for you guys in this video. I hope you guys liked it. And found it useful. If you are interested in seeing me create some example portfolio projects or have any questions, then let me know in the comment section. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time.